What is the purpose of this uh, protest or rally today? Um, you know, I, I really wanted to incorporate not just Black Lives Matter, but, you know, black women are being raped and brutalized by police at equally uh, high rates as men are being brutalized police. Um, I also wanted to keep the momentum here in El Paso. El Paso can be a little bit of a sleepy town sometimes. And just because we're, we feel like we're far removed from the issues, it's still an issue. Uh, just because we don't see it in our bubble doesn't mean that it's not happening inside our bubble. But I really just want to keep the momentum going um, because our lives are literally at stake. And it's not just black lives, but brown lives as well. Like we're all fighting a huge fight against everything. Everything is against us right now. And that's that's just why I just want to keep the momentum going. Like we have so many different battles to fight and th that's just it. There's little battles in the big war um, for equality and humanity and just to be treated like humans in our country. So with the, the notice that a lot of the protests and marches have got, what meaningful change would you like to see made to happen? The biggest thing would just would be for people to be treated like humans. Um, and that's not just along the ends of police, but we have ICE that we're dealing with. We have people that are trying to seek amnesty in our country that are being detained in basically modern day internment camps. Um, but it's just we, just because we're a different color doesn't mean that we're less than, we're still human. The way the system basically discriminates against specific people, do you, have you felt that personally? Um, yes, it, I think it's something that if you're brown, if you're black, you've experienced it, whether it's in a microaggressive way or if it was in um, an outwardly like manifested way, we've all experienced it. Um, a majority of my elementary school life, I was the only black girl in my classes, um, in my high, in high school, in my activities, sports, everything else, I was the only black kid. And a lot of times I ignored it, but when I look back on it, there were situations that you wouldn't want your child to feel that they were different. Um, a lot of situations where children wouldn't play with me because my skin color was different or because my hair wasn't straight or whatever the case might be. But we all encounter it in some way or another. And whether you realize it or not, it affects everyone. And within the El Paso community, are you satisfied in any way with any leadership that has been given on this matter? Or is there like certain leaders that you wish would speak out more? Um, you know, I will say that the chief of police has very much so uh, disappointed me. Um, as a black man, to say that the Black Lives Matter movement is a terrorist organization is very disheartening um, because without people who, they may not have been Black Lives Matter, but they may have been for the cause for justice for black people or for equality for black people. For him to be in that position and to say that, um, it, it's kind of like betrayal to the black people that are in his community um, to say that their lives don't matter and that they're basically a terrorist organization when we're not, we're not. We have struggled for 400 years just to have peace and to be treated as equals among our peers. And here we are again, we're going through the same cycle, history's repeating itself. And at what point are our leaders, like our chief of police, are they gonna see that he's repeating the history by carrying on these motives and these morals and his, these ideals? But uh, that's the biggest, that's the biggest, that's the most disheartening to have a figure, a black figure in a, in a position of leadership that thinks that we're the bad guys. <laughs> Do you have um, any message that you would like to give to people, not to the authority, not to, gov not to the government, mm -hmm. to or us, to us people? Yes, um, it's, it's been my, my, my kind of slogan for everything. You know, El Paso is not exempt. We have to keep momentum. If we want to see the change, we have to be the change. And it starts here. This is the beginning of the revolution. And either you're in or you're going to get left behind.